Bonjour tout le monde! Welcome to my most favourite place in the whole world. We are in the 16th arrondissement. We are at Trocadero. And behind me is the Palais de Chaillot. This is not a great view of it because obviously it's big. You need to see it from a distance to really appreciate it. Let me show you where we are. So this is one side of the Palais de Chaillot at Trocadero. I just came out of this metro station here, Trocadero, line six. Hi Cheyenne, hey Kieran, lovely to see you guys. Okay. Hi Sally, lovely to see you. So I'm on a very special mission today, different day, different time. The reason being, I'm off to the Chanel exhibition. I finally got tickets. Hey Cheyenne, I'm so pleased you could join us this morning. Got some awesome things to show you. Hi Judy, nice to see you. So, so far everyone's from Australia, yeah? Let's see, we are on the, let's see, the ooh, northern side of, yes I know I got tickets to Chanel, isn't it great? Yay! So, this is the City de l'Architecture et du Patrimoine and also the Théâtre National de Chaillot. So it's a theatre a, a theater and um, a museum of architecture which is amazing, absolutely amazing. But this, this is the reason why we're here, Cheyenne says. Just on our way to dance, so Jenny Lee will be watching. I'm only going to be on very shortly though, Cheyenne, but you can watch me live for now, but uh, you can watch it uh, recorded later, okay? But this is just the best part. Like I said, this is my most favorite thing in the world. My most favorite place in the world. The best view ever, in my opinion. Are you ready? Da, da, da. This is my happy place. Best view ever. Yes, Karen, I totally agree. Now, this best view ever is a little bit different than it normally is. Yes, it is. The JR installation is still here, and that's what we're coming to look at right now. So, JR or JR in French is a street artist who does uh, large scale trompe d'oeil, which are, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, visual. Uh, uh, what do you call them? I can't remember the word. Someone help me. Bonjour. Oui, je fais un vidéo. Okay, merci. Okay, so the idea is you look at it and it gives you the impression that you're in a great big chasm. Obviously, there are a lot of people here. Yes, my friend. How are you? How are you doing? It's a uh, visual effect, trick of the eye. Thank you very much. Okay, I came here a bit earlier and took some photos and they are without people. Uh, obviously, we've got a little bit of a crowd here. See enough, I could sneak in a little bit. Anyway, it's kind of cool. There we go, how's that? Wow. Very cool. Oh, Jenny Lee saw it. Awesome. I'm so pleased. Okay, just because of the crowds, I'm going to pop away. We have the sun right in our face, so it's not the best. But I thought we'd go quickly over here. Like I said, I have tickets to Chanel, so um, this is why we are coming at the earlier time of 10 o'clock. They also have a lot in Lyon. Yeah, I heard he does have places elsewhere. Um, he did one at the Louvre a couple of years ago, um, and it was destroyed within two days. So, yeah, I never got to see that one. Okay, so this is the typical view we would normally have of the Eiffel Tower at Trocadero. So normally this place is swarming with tourists. At the moment, it's pretty low key. Okay, Susan McGregor, hi there, welcome. 
Okay, so this is a bit more of a clearer view of Trocadero. So the gardens below us are the Trocadero Gardens. Okay, and then we have the bridge just down here. Oh, there's usually a fountain going there. You can see the, um, the basin where the fountain normally is, which is a stunning fountain. It's great to hang out during a, a heat wave because yeah, people go swimming in it, even though they're not supposed to. And then, of course, the Eiffel Tower is on the other side of the river. And in the distance behind, you can see the Tour Montparnasse. Okay, someone just said hi to me. Who is that? Oh, yes, Susan McGregor. Okay, also down this way, you can't see it, but in this direction in the gardens is uh, the Aquarium of Paris, which is actually underground, which is great. It's a cool place to go, literally cool, if you um, want to get cool during the summer. Right, we're going to turn around and head this way. That's a big statue. So, the Palais de Chaillot is a great big curved building. It curves off both directions okay and like I said on this side is the National Theatre of uh, Chaillot and the Architecture Museum which are both awesome there's also you can see there's umbrellas there that is a restaurant it used to be called La Giraffe but it's just changed its name I can't remember the name um, I will have a look when we walk past and over on this side is the um, Musée de l'Homme. Now this is actually part of the Natural History Museum. So it's, um, I get in free because my husband works for the Natural, Natural, Natural History Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, the cool thing about it is it has a cafe in it, which is upstairs. Um, I could show you if it wasn't blocked up at the moment. But anyway, it has the most sensational view of the Eiffel Tower. So you can sit having coffee and just oh, amazing view. Um, they also have a terrace down the bottom there. Just behind, if you can see, uh, behind that statue there. And that is the Café de l'Homme, which is a, an actual restaurant as well. And used to be one of my favourite hangouts. So this is the Esplanade des Droits de l'Homme, so the Esplanade of the Rights of Man. So if you go up the Eiffel Tower and look in this direction, you have the most amazing view of the Trocadero Gardens and the Palais de Chaillot. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Bonjour Margaret Redrup, it's lovely to see you. Margaret Redrup has been here some little kids coming to see things okay so another look at the Eiffel Tower we got a lovely group of people here thank you for joining us so we're at the Palais de Chaillot Trocadero in the 16th arrondissement the 16th arrondissement is a very flash area. It is um, very touristic for this reason here, but it also has a lot of embassies in it. Uh, so you have um, quite a lot of swish houses and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a high end area. So this is the entrance to the Musée de l'Homme on this side. Okay, let me just pop over to the road edge here. So just up here is the cemetery of Passy. Um, I will be going there. I've been there recently, but I will go back with my friend Terry, who I don't think Terry's on at the moment because she's busy today, which is why she couldn't be here with me. Um, but we will be going there at some other time, and I'll take a video next time I'm there. So back to my favourite view in the world. Isn't that great? I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this area is also super duper duper good for um, cafes with amazing views. Uh, my personal favourite is the Café de Trocadero, which is, you can see the white awning over here uh, in the distance. So it's directly opposite 
So you get a really nice view of the Eiffel Tower, especially at night time. I've lined the mural up with the tower, please. I just, you just missed that. I did take a photo of it. I'll go back, just because Margaret Regret asked. Love those cafes, I do too. I used to, when I first lived here in Paris uh, 12 years ago, uh, a friend of mine who I worked with, we used to come here on Friday nights for our Friday night drinkies. We were both um, crazed francophiles. Man, which is weird. I haven't. I have been to every other cemetery. I've never been to Passy. Okay, so I went to Passy for the very first time. Um, what was it about uh, six weeks ago? A month, six weeks ago. And yeah, it's super duper awesome. Look at all the children waiting patiently, and I'm jumping the queue here. I do have a photo of this and you can see the video as well okay but I don't think I should be rude and um, hustle in on all these kids who are waiting patiently okay so I hope that's okay Margaret um, so yeah Passy Cemetery is it's very small um, so it's in that raised area just over here where these trees are very very small um, but it's very dense and there are some amazing graves there uh, the most famous one is actually a national monument um, I'll talk more about that when I actually do the video but um, when I'm up there but it is pretty impressive so um, I might put a, a mention of it in the notes Thank you so much, Jackie. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm not really sure how much further I'm going to get down here because I have to walk for a few minutes to get to um, Galliera, Palais Galliera, which is where the Chanel exhibition is. So, uh, Judy, what do you think if I stop the video and then when I actually get to Galliera, we start it up again. How does that sound? Because it's a bit of a walk there. Well, I mean, it's only like five, ten minutes, but there's not a heck of a lot to see in between place. You've got the back of the um, Palais de Chaillot here. And so this is heading down towards Iena. Whatever suits you best. We're happy to sit and chat with you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, well, we'll see how we go. Let's carry on walking. So, yeah, there's, like I said, there's not a heck of a lot to see down here. This is a lot of residential stuff over here. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, oh, one thing I forgot to talk about on Tuesday when I was um, in uh, the Marais. Today, yes, I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, yeah, so when I, we were in the Marais the other day, I forgot to tell you that yesterday was a very special day. It was level three uh, deconfinement. So, uh, it was not level three, stage three. So, as of yesterday, you were able to eat inside restaurants. Yay! And the curfew changed from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. So, it's super exciting for us here. Um, I went out last night at half past eight. Uh, and I felt so bad, even though it was totally legal. Um, I, I thought, oh, I could even go out later if I wanted to. But, uh, yes, of course I have kids, so I was busy, I couldn't do that. But, yeah, so it's 11 p.m. now. Um, so, and also gyms have opened, so a lot of um, health, health uh, conscious people here in Paris are very excited to be able to go back to the gym. 
although you know running is still a very very popular thing woohoo Sally woohoo <laughs> going to the gyms that is I think everybody's just so used to doing the exercise outside now that they don't really care it's it's very um it's a very common thing now going to the parks to do your um workouts and stuff I keep wondering how much life is going to change uh, once uh, we go back to normal, if you like. Um, will people still be wearing masks, that sort of thing? I'm quite surprised at how well Parisians have managed to uh, adapt to wearing masks. Most of them do it extremely well. Uh, you get some really, really uh, good looking masks. So there are quite a few big buildings here. To be honest, I'm not sure what they are because International Chamber of Commerce, I believe that's it. So yeah, I um, usually just stick to the Palais de Chayo when I'm here. So these are some nice houseman buildings. Can you imagine the view that they have? So the view would be right over the Trocadero Gardens, looking to the Eiffel Tower. So exciting. We seem to have lost you, Jackie. Oh, really? Have to go. Thank you so much. Bye, Kieran. Um, I'm still videoing. Look at this. That's a mosaic. Isn't it amazing? Oh my goodness! I cannot believe it! Anais is watching. My, I, my heart has just exploded. Hello my beautiful darling girl. So it's you. Yes it is you Anais. So I probably should let people know my mummy, who might remain anonymous, it comes on and watches this uh, live walk. But I'm um, so pleased that my daughter, who's in New Zealand, who I haven't seen in over two years, is uh, here with us now. I'm so pleased you're here, darling. You have no idea how happy I am. Conseil Economic, Social and Environment. Sorry we got you back, yeah. I think it was a bit of a, a lapse in the, um, what do you call it, connection. We got you back. I miss you too, Anais. I love you, my darling. It's very noisy here, very busy. When you're in Paris, you have to watch out for the green man when you're crossing the road, but you also have to make sure that they are obeying the traffic rules, because they don't do that here. Okay, I'm so pleased you're here, Annie. So, uh, they very much like Asian arts around here. So there's an Asian art institute. This is the next metro station, so we've walked one whole metro station. And for any Americans who are either here now or who will join us later, um, you might know this gentleman on his horse. Going past the bus stop. Here we go, it's George Washington. Voila. Ayana is where um, Diana died. Not quite, it's Alma is where she died. Pont Alma. Or the Tunnel at Alma. So if we were to travel one extra um, metro station down here, then we would get to where Diana died. 
that is somewhere I would be happy to show you sometime. Not not where she died exactly, but well, you know, it's kind of a bit sad. But you know that they have a big memorial. It's actually the flame of the Statue of Liberty. And uh, it, it was originally there for other purposes, but it's kind of become a, a sort of a, a memorial to Diana because it was right down uh, next to where she died. Okay, we have arrived at my destination. In perfect timing as well because um, I have 10.30 tickets to the Chanel exhibition. So um, somebody, I think it might have been you Judy, but somebody posted on the page um, the virtual visit, if you like, of uh, the Chanel exhibition. And before I saw that, I kind of thought, Oh yeah, Chanel exhibition, that sounds cool. But it wasn't until after I watched that that I went, oh my gosh, I have to go to this exhibition. Uh, exhibition. So that's why I tried to get the tickets. Another view of the Eiffel Tower. Yes, yes it is. It's um, The video is certainly well worth watching. Uh, it is in French, but it is subtitled in English, which is great, so everyone can access it. And it, I found it really fascinating and um, so I was very, very keen to come to the exhibition once I saw that. So the exhibition is taking place at this amazing place. Thank you, Judy, for posting the link. So this place is called the uh, Palais Galera, which, as you can see, is like a, a little bit of a Grecian temple. It's stunning. And I didn't know anything about it until uh, the Chanel exhibition was on. Let me just turn around quickly. We are at the Palais de Tokyo, um, which is quite an edifice of its own. I can't remember when I used to live here. They had a, an amazing restaurant here, but it's very exclusive. It only seats 12 people every night. And so uh, you have to like literally go online at 10 o'clock in the morning and book uh, your seat at the table and you could be sitting with complete strangers. But I used to sit there at like 9.59 every morning waiting to book and it would be sold out before I could ever press a button. So lovely cafe here. The bar. It's got a fountain and everything, nice gardens. And of course this face is over towards the Eiffel Tower, which I don't think we'll be able to see from this angle. Ah, yeah, you can just see the edge of it there. Okay. So, let's go back over to the Galera. Here is the Bin John Paris article with all the videos and Jackie's photos all together in one place. Woohoo! Well, I got so many people on here today. Cheyenne and my mummy and most importantly, my little girl, my big little girl, Anais. I'm so pleased you're here. All right. This is a car park in the middle of the island road. Okay, no traffic. I can dodge the bikes and get across without getting hit. So this is why we're here today. We're coming to see Chanel Manifest du Mode. Stunning lady. I made a, uh, a bit of a, what do you call it, fashion faux pas this morning. When I was getting dressed I squirted on uh, some perfume. <laughs> Green with envy. Um, and uh, I just put on the first perfume that I grabbed, which happened to be a Guerlain perfume. I'm only allowed to wear French perfumes, by the way, which I'm quite happy with, so it's fine. But then I thought, oh, that's totally inappropriate. I have to wear Chanel today. So I rubbed that off and I put Chanel number no. 5 on, which used to be my signature perfume, but someone told me I smelt like a grandma, so I stopped wearing it. Not that there's anything wrong with being a grandma. Hey mum. Okay, so I will be heading in here. I'm not going to video in here. We've been on for 24 minutes now. 
Um, but of course, I will take photos and I will post those so you get to see all of those. Oh, and Judy, you were talking before about the market. So that day that I came here, Judy, when I was talking to you, it did happen to be market day. And yes, the market runs up this alley where I was just before. Um, and it's really bizarre because it's just like every single other alley, except as Judy said, you've got women wearing, you know, jewels and uh, mink coats and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's kind of weird kind of surreal so this little garden here is is really pretty but look at these um this beautiful building see that planting up there um their garden um so i'm really happy about that i'm here to see this exhibit um because i went to get tickets a couple of weeks ago and i thought now i'll just wait until monday and then when i waited till monday I uh, realised that I had um, missed out because all, they had all sold out and I was absolutely gutted. Um, and then, luckily, um, I saw an advertisement and I thought, well, why are they advertising it if it's sold out? But they had reopened extra tickets, so I was, yay! Isn't this a stunning building? So you can see people are still taking advantage of outdoor spaces to do their exercises. I suppose these are personal trainers who don't, you know, work out of a gym. So we're going to go up this side and just peek in, peek in through the door. Isn't it nice? It's so pretty. Shoes everywhere. Ah, look at this. So that's the queue that I need to be joining, which I will do so very soon. Okay, so like I said, I won't be taking a video inside, but I'm gonna finish here. So thank you for letting me. Um, ramble on <laughs> um, I'll turn this around it's great to see you guys I say everybody and thank you for joining me thank you for Cheyenne and for my mum and and for my beautiful daughter Anais for joining me and everybody else of course or the, the usuals who come along all the time I really really appreciate your support um, doing what I love most of all being in the most beautiful place in the world so thank you and um, I might maybe do a sneak video, live video later. I'm not sure. We'll see how I go inside. Depends what the security is like. Okay, so take care and um, we'll catch you later. Bye.